welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to talk about uh, mds who 2022 updates the new who classification introduces the term myelodysplastic neoplasms which is abbreviated as mds only to replace myelodysplastic syndromes it is because of the fact that uh, myelodysplastic syndromes are neoplastic in nature and just to harmonize the terminology with myeloproliferative neoplasms Based on the BLAST percentage, it is uh, broadly classified uh, based on the morphology into two types, MDS with low BLAST and MDS with increased BLAST. Let's revise the WHO 2016 MDS classification before, see, before uh, going into the uh, recent WHO. MDS was uh, classified into MDS with single linear dysplasia, MDS with ring sideroblasts, MDS with multilinear dysplasia, MDS with excess blasts, MDS with isolated deletion 5q, MDS unclassifiable and there was a provisional entity refractory cytopenia of childhood. Now in uh, WHO 2022, there is no uh, entity called uh, single, uh, single linear dysplasia. And uh, multilinear dysplasia also has been uh, eliminated. There is no MDS unclassifiable category. MDS with isolated deletion 5Q remains the same. Whereas MDS with ring sideroblasts, MDS with excess blasts and this provisional category refractory cytopenia of childhood. Uh, these things have been uh, modified. So there were uh, 6 plus uh, 1 uh, categories like 6 uh, entities with a provisional category in the WHO 2016 classification. But now the classification is uh, simplified. You have uh, adult MDS and childhood MDS uh, uh, categories. Under adult MDS, you have MDS with uh, defining genetic abnormalities and MDS morphologically defined. These are the two broad headings under adult MDS. So, MDS with defining genetic abnormalities, MDS morphologically defined. These are the two uh, broad headings under which again you have three subcategories in each. As I said, uh, there is uh, uh, terminology uh, called MDS with low blast and MDS with increased blast based on the uh, blast percentage. So, MDS with low blast uh, category has uh, the blast percentage less than 5% in the marrow and less than 2% in the peripheral blood. Whereas, uh, to call it uh, increased blast, you need to have more than 5% blast which uh, may go up to 19%. So, more than 5% and less than 20% uh, uh, blast in the marrow are the presence of R rods to call it as uh, MDS uh, increased blast stroke. This MDS with increased blast category actually replaced uh, the term MDS with excess blast in the previous classification. Now it also has MDS with fibrosis uh, under the MDS with increased blast along with IB1 and IB2. Now you know what is MDS with low blast and MDS with increased blast. This is uh, purely morphological and uh, they have included a new category hypoplastic MDS. So, under MDS with defining genetic abnormalities, you have MDS with low blast and isolated 5Q deletion because of the fact that uh, uh, isolated 5Q deletion and SF3B1 mutation in MDS usually have low blast percentage. So, isolated 5Q deletion on cytogenetics, you see only 5Q deletion or with uh, one other abnormality other than monosomy 7 or 7Q deletion. Whereas uh, MDS with low blast and SF3B1 uh, mutation category will not have uh, uh, this uh, 5Q deletion, monosomy 7 or complex karyotype. You should demonstrate SF3B1 mutation by NGS. 
MDS with bilayelic TP53 inactivation, here the blast percentage is uh, less than 20% both in the marrow and peripheral grid and cytogenetics is usually complex. You need to have two or uh, uh, more TP53 mutations by NGS or a single TP53 mutation on NGS with uh, evidence of TP53 copy number loss by cytogenetics. Under childhood MDS also you have two categories, uh, childhood MDS with low blast and childhood MDS with increased blast. Childhood MDS with low blast uh, is again divided into hypocellular MDS and uh, childhood MDS uh, with low blast NOS type. Blast percentage uh, is uh, similar to adult MDS. I have made an attempt to simplify uh, the diagnostic approach to MDS uh, by including all these uh, changes in the uh, new doublet. Suppose you take a case scenario where uh, you have unexplained cytopenia which typically uh, lasts more than 4 months. You do a morphological evaluation where uh, you uh, you have seen that uh, less than 5% blast uh, in the marrow and less than 2% blast in the peripheral blood uh, with the dysplasia. Cutoff for dysplasia remains the same, 10% cutoff for all lineages. So, based on the morphology and the history, you can uh, morphologically uh, diagnose it as MDS with low blast. If you go for a molecular technique like FISH, and if you uh, find a 5q deletion with uh, any one other abnormality other than monosomy 7 or 7q deletion now this entity will become mds with low blast and isolated file deletion let us take another case scenario now you have morphological diagnosis uh, of mds with low blast and morphology Along with that you are seeing ring zidroblasts. The first thing you have to do is uh, you have to look for SF3B1 mutation by NGS. If you find SF3B1 mutation, now this category uh, will become MDS with low blast and SF3B1 mutation. The cutoff for ring zidroblasts is more than or equal to 5%. If you don't have SF3B1 mutation, then you have to simply call it uh, MDS with low blast and ring zidroblasts. And the cutoff for ring zidroblasts in this scenario is more than or equal to 15%. And remember that uh, on cytogenetics you should not have 5q deletion, 7q deletion or monosomy 7. Let us take another case scenario where you have unexplained cytopenia. This time you have less than 20% blast that is more than 5% and less than 20% both in the marrow and peripheral blood along with the dysplasia. So now you call it myelodysplastic neoplasm on uh, morphology. If you do molecular testing either by FISH or NGS and if you find that there is complex karyotype with evidence of TP53 copy number loss or multiple TP53 mutations by NGS. Now this fits into the diagnosis of MDS with biallelic TP53 mutation. Biallelic TP53 alterations consists of multiple mutations or mutations with concurrent deletion of the other allele which will be detected by cytogenetics. If you have a TP53 mutation and NGS with a variant allelic frequency of more than or equal to 50%, it can be regarded as presumptive evidence of copy loss on the trans allele in case if you don't have cytogenetic findings. If you have cytogenetics, uh, you can do fish and you can uh, say that whether there is copy uh, num TP53 copy loss on the uh, opposite allele or not. If you don't have cytogenetic findings, it can be assumed that as the VAF is more than or equal to 50%, it, it can be considered as biallelic TP53.
when two or uh, more t53 mutations are detected on ngs they usually affect both alleles that's why if you have multiple t53 mutations on ngs you can consider uh, this as multi heat status so you can label uh, this case as uh, mds with uh, biallelic tp53 inactivation so how do you detect biallelic tp53 alterations you need to cover uh, exon 4 to exon 11 of tp53 uh, by ngs and you you need to have another technique to detect copy number status by fish with a probe set specific for tp53 locus on 17p and or an array technique like comparative genomic hybridization or single nucleotide polymorphism arrays because uh, this uh, copy number loss and large deletions cannot be picked up by ngs that's why you need other technique uh, to demonstrate this uh, copy number status or deletion of tp53 or loss of tp53 allele on uh, fish as i said earlier under mds uh, morphologically defined category we have hypoplastic mds which is a new type uh, hypoplastic mds usually uh, responds well to uh, immunosuppressive therapy like anti thymocyte globulin whereas other uh, causes of hypoplastic marrow like uh, individuals with germline pathogenic variants in garter 2 gene ddx41 gene and uh, patients with uh, uh, gene uh, mutations in fanconi and uh, fanconi pathway and telomerase complex genes these uh, people they uh, tend to evolve to mds and or aml and they do not respond to immunosuppressive treatment whereas hypoplastic mds responds well to immunosuppressive therapy that's why it's very important to differentiate uh, hypoplastic mds from hypoplastic causes of uh, uh, bone marrow so you need to uh, rule out the germline pathogenic variants involving these genes childhood mds with low blast replaces the former term refractory cytopenia of childhood which is again subdivided into childhood mds with low blast hypocellular childhood mds with low blast uh, not otherwise specified childhood mds is a diagnosis of exclusion so you have to rule out non neoplastic causes of cytopenia like infections nutritional deficiencies metabolic diseases and bone marrow failure syndromes you have to exclude germline pathogenic variants by ngs so you need to have a thorough clinical physical morphological and molecular evaluation uh, for the diagnosis of childhood mds for childhood mds with increased blast Uh, you should have uh, more than 5% blast in the marrow and more than 2% blast in the peripheral blood the blast percentage uh, of uh, childhood mds with uh, low blast and childhood mds with increased blast is uh, different but the genetic landscape of these two entities is similar but they both differ from mds arising in adults in childhood mds uh, you have uh, more of acquired cytogenetic abnormalities and ras pathway mutations which are more common with uh, childhood mds with increased blast whereas in uh, adult mds you have uh, uh, mutations in uh, splicing factors and uh, epigenetic uh, regulators etc so the genetic landscape of childhood mds uh, differs with uh, adult uh, mds that's why these two uh, categories are separate and they are being uh, dealt separately as i said childhood mds uh, has uh, more of acquired cytogenetic abnormalities and ras pathway mutations 
monosomy 7 7 q deletion or uh, complex karyotype these are associated with increased uh, propensity to uh, progression of uh, progression to aml and they should be treated with hematopoietic stem cell transplantation whereas normal karyotype and trisomy 8 uh, will have indolent course so to summarize we have seen that myelodysplastic syndromes are renamed as myelodysplastic neoplasms. There are uh, three genetic uh, types under MDS, which includes MDS 5Q deletion, MDS FCF3B1, and MDS biallelic TP53 inactivation. And we have uh, a new category hyperplastic MDS which should be differentiated from uh, germline pathogenic uh, uh, variants which evolved in MDS. And uh, there is this uh, blast percentage cutoff by which we can uh, call uh, MDS with low blast and MDS with increased blast. And uh, the terminology of childhood MDS uh, and uh, its subtypes have been updated in the uh, classification. Thank you.